for your safety, more people are trusting storage facilities to hold their valuable items. It's supposed to be a safe option. And, but criminals are trying to capitalize on that, and they're using new methods to get your stuff. News for San Antonio's Jordan Elder joins us with the troubling trend and what you can do to protect yourself. It's a type of technology we see most often with key fob. Criminals take a signal amplifier to clone this signal and then they can unlock your car all the way in the driveway or on the street. And as one local man found out, this technology can be used to steal much more. The gate is open and it's just not there. Everything's gone. This food truck was Nick Monda's world. Seven years of time, money, and effort to bring Puerto Rican food all over San Antonio. I thought I was safer. It was stolen last month from a secured storage facility. Monda says employees told him four RVs were also taken that night. He said, unfortunately, career criminals, they have scanners, and they can scan and open up the gate. Criminologist Dr. Colton Daniel says as technology gets smarter. Criminals are also getting smarter. They're utilizing this technology for their own ends. Sheriff Javier Salazar says cartels are likely the reason that these vehicles are being targeted. Many times they use uh, large SUVs and large 4x4 trucks to human, for human smuggling uh, enterprises. Monda now sounding the alarm for other people with storage units. People pay a lot of money to park their, their valuables in these places. And you know, for them not to be more secure about it is kind of uneasy. You know, you don't feel safe. Like. He says he regrets not getting GPS trackers, wheel locks, or other devices when he had the chance. And Salazar says, above all else, the easiest thing you can do is lock up your valuables and vehicles and secure your storage units the best you can. Do whatever you got to do to protect your stuff. Monda says with today's prices, a new food truck may be too expensive, but he says he'll find a way to keep bringing his signature dishes to the community. Jordan Elder, News 4 San Antonio.